you don't have to be at the stadium to do a little tailgating. Today, we're tailgating in our own backyard. We're gonna grill up some burgers with a little help from this spice and tea exchange and some tailgater spice blend. A little dip to go on the side, and we got it made for the game. Everybody has their own way of making a burger that they think is best. I say do it however you like. Just don't mess up the seasonings. That's why we got the seasoning here from the Spice and Tea Exchange. It's called Tailgater's Blend. Perfect for what we're doing today, our own at-home tailgate. Now, I worked out something special for you guys. If you go to spiceandtea.com and purchase a Tailgater's Blend and use the promo code BEER112, all caps, Okay, beer 112, they're gonna give you some beer powder mix for free as well. It's a great, great blend of flavors uh, that really encompasses the flavor of beer. Perfect for tailgating and any sort of novelty cooking you wanna do. It's a really, really unique product you're only gonna find at spiceandtea.com. So, to make our burgers, how do I like to do it? Very, very simple. I like to use two different types of meat. Kind of gives you a little yin and yang back and forth. Today we're using some ground turkey. And we're also using some ground sausage. You could, of course, use ground beef in place of ground turkey, but I'm trying to do a little more of the healthy thing. So, what we do, got a bowl, let's get it all mixed. Just take the ground turkey, add the ground sausage, mix it all up with your hands. Don't use a fork, just make sure your hands are clean. And then into that, we're gonna put about uh, two tablespoons of the tailgaters blend in there. This is a really, really great, great combination of flavors. Black pepper, garlic, onion, bell pepper, salt, paprika, uh, parsley, celery, horseradish, chives, tomato, beer powder, Worcestershire. It is the essence of tailgating. It's, and it's all in this one little blender. You can't go wrong with that. Also gonna add in our cheese right into the meat. Not on top of the burger later, right into the meat mixture. That's how I like to serve mine. Now, of course, tailgating, you think grilling. Nothing wrong with that. And if you wanna make the burgers on the grill, completely up to you. I, however, have this little guy. Burger pan, meet my friends. Friends, meet my burger pan. This is a dedicated pan I use strictly for burgers, even on the grill. Why? In my own personal opinion, I think it lets the burgers retain a lot of the juiciness. It kind of cooks in its own juices. You're not just dripping into the grates. And also, you kind of need this for the way I'm gonna finish off these burgers to make them whiskey burgers. Let's get over to the grill. Put the pan on the grill or on the burner, depending on where you're at. Put it at a nice medium heat. Add in a little bit of olive oil. Let that heat up a bit. Then, you gotta have a burger patty. And we make ours nice and big. Keep in mind, a lot of these shrink down. Just pack them nice and tight though, so they don't fall apart. That is a key when you're making any sort of burger. Pack these guys tight. I like it about like that. While the burger is cooking, you gotta have your dip if you're tailgating, right? We got some coastal blend here from the Spice and Tea Exchange. Great mixture of flavors. Green pepper, onion, garlic, shallots, uh, dill, lemon, it's all in there. Great dip mix. And we're just gonna use about eight ounces here of light sour cream. You can also use uh, cream cheese, uh, yogurt, it's completely up to you. Put about a tablespoon or so of the uh, coastal blend in there just like that. Just mix it up. Good stuff. Another one, remember, if you order from Spice and Tea Exchange, use that code BEER112. Get that uh, free beer powder mix as well. Check the burger. All right, the finishing touch to our burger is what really makes it the whiskey burger. So, little cup here, a little bit of whiskey, salute. Take your pan off the burner. This is key if you value your eyebrows and hair. And then just add the whiskey right on top of the burger, just like that. Uh-huh. It's all gonna caramelize right around the burger. Now that, my friends, 
is a burger. You can add any sort of toppings you want on here, but uh, with the seasonings that we have from the Spice and Tea Exchange, the cheese in there, the two meats, it's super juicy and the whiskey finish, I'm gonna eat it naked, just like this. Let's dig in. Mm-hmm. That is good. You can't beat that spice blend from Spice and Tea Exchange. It really, especially for tailgating, sums up all the ingredients that you want in a burger without having to carry them all along and chop them up and all that. Plus, in a dried form like that, you get more of an intense condensed flavor that really goes a long way for a recipe just like this. Here you go. To tailgating, now I should probably get out to the tailgate and actually do some of that with the burger myself because I believe the game is on. For the complete recipe, you can find it at newtastetoday.com. I'm Tony Bruschi. Thanks for watching.